new this morning, a scam that's just a click away, hitting people right at home in Bell County. Maybe you have heard of the app next door. It's a trusted app, but now someone is using it for no good. Joining me live in the studio with the latest and how you can avoid these online scams is Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, Jasmine. So this morning we're talking about Belinda Kidwell. She reached out to Six News saying a handyman she found on Nextdoor scammed her, allegedly scammed her out of money and time. Now she's warning others, trying to make people aware of what's happening right here in Temple. I put an ad on Nextdoor. Um, I was looking for someone to fix my oven. What should have been a neighborly deed on Nextdoor, the app that facilitates finding local services in your neighborhood, quickly went downhill for Belinda Kidwell with just a few clicks. He doesn't know what he's doing and I hand him $90. That's on me. I, I cannot blame Nextdoor for that. The next day, he allegedly called back saying he needed more money and was having family issues. That's when Belinda started asking for receipts. So a couple of days later, I text him. I think I waited two days and I said, I would like my money back. And he answered and said, yes, I'm sorry. I've been out of town. I've, I've, I've got family issues. I will give you back your money. Didn't hear anything else from him. I texted him and I said, I want my money today. She wants to use her story as a warning to others. So you need to know that Nextdoor does have resources to prevent this. They try to vet their clients and have other resources to help you spot a scam and report malicious activity. And if you do think you've been a victim of this crime, the Temple Police Department says you need to go to small claims court. And at the end of all of this, Belinda says she wishes she would have just been a little more diligent in finding her handyman. I needed to think about that before I did it. Uh, I think next door with me, from my perspective, um, has always been a good thing. I've met neighbors through there. All right, so a good reminder to everyone, go to small claims court. I also had someone reach out to me over the weekend saying that they have gone to small claims court and they're going to bring this handyman there come September. So this is going to unfold over time. All I can do right now is make sure that you know to keep an eye out for this. And if you feel like you have been a victim of this crime, please reach out to me or the KCEN team. Jasmine, back to you. You know, Meredith, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Yeah. You know, all of these th these apps and, you know, I these know. things that you're supposed to trust, there's always someone who takes advantage. Hey, we're going along, you know, we're moving on with all the social media mm -hmm. and it's all becoming so yeah. much. All we can do here is just try to make sure everybody's aware of what's going on and mm -hmm. try to prevent it from happening. For so. sure. Well, thank you for that report, Meredith.